Dr. Wood, author of the book Miracles Minutes. Today I'm going to describe a little bit about mm, the mind and sort of how it works. So some of it is uh, even the Bible talks about, you know, the light of the world, the light. What is this light? It's our consciousness. What are you aware of? And what our egos tend to do is bias towards that I know what I'm talking about. Like that's like you have the information of the universe. You know every absolute truth. You know how the planets work. You know how the universe works. You know how the sea works. You know how everything's born. There's no way you know everything. Okay? So this is our ego mind. But what it does is it gives us some certainty to create a life around. But the thing is a lot of it's based upon false beliefs. So... We've been programmed since we were young and children. We developed this childhood wound. You know, I'm not lovable. Uh, nobody cares about me. You know, I don't know if I matter or um, I don't think my dad, you know, cared about me. So I'm going to prove to him, you know, blah, 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 make all his money and blah, 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 blah. In the end, even if you achieve it all, there's this big letdown. Like, huh, I did all these things and I still don't feel like it. So what, what we're doing is run away from fear. The fear that we aren't loved. Love's inside. You you love yourself. You don't need anyone else to approve of you. You don't need anyone else to say, hey, you're, you're good enough. You need a gold star. So it stops us from being needy. However, we're all kind of needy creatures, and then we become addicts. So let's just talk about this real quick. So we have up top here the conscious mind, which is only worth about 10%. And then there's the subconscious. And this is where all the programs lie of all the beliefs and stories we told to ourselves of who we are and how we live our lives. So when you, for example, when you get up in the morning, you have a habit or a routine, uh, some rituals. So you get up, you brush your teeth, da 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 you get coffee, da 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 And it's pretty much that way every day. You don't think about it anymore. This is your habit for your life, and this is your life. You get in a relationship. I tend to always go out with this type of person, and I pick this person. It looks like it's going to be great. It doesn't work out in the end. Oh, oh well, I'll just leave Move on, get divorced, let's try again. I got a divorce, I got, hey, I met this person, da, 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 da. you know, things didn't work out, I got divorced again. <laughs> this is the subconscious mind, you're running the same pattern, the same habit. So if unless you bring awareness to it, you don't realize that you're not thinking, and subconsciously you're doing the same thing and creating the same result. Just different name, different place, different person, different time of year. So so people, this is how people get stuck, and they, they never reach the life they want, because the patterns and ideas and beliefs they have in their subconscious mind is stuck. Finally, at the bottom is the unconscious mind. You can think of that as your autonomic nervous system. That's what runs your heart rate and your digestion and, you know, everything that you don't have any business messing with. However, most health problems are from all the crazy choices we've made and crazy emotional beliefs that we have that we're not lovable, we're not significant, and all those things. And then a person's life is just a looping cycle of repeat, 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 repeat. It's called the insanity of life. So what I'm bringing to people is the awareness, hey, look, what I want is a great world. I want you to have what you want. The truth in the matter is most people don't do it. It's less than 10% achieve the life they want. That's sad. Why not? Because no one told you how your brain worked, man. No one explained, this is how the brain works. It's not a judgment of you're a bad person or a good person. Get over that crap. Let it go. Like, forget all that. Blaming, you know, parents. Blame doesn't do anything. Just get determined and focus on what do I want? Um, you know, what kind of person? Who, who do you want to be? I want to be a loving person. I want to have a great relationships. And you got to spell that out in detail. Write it out so you can see with your light of awareness, what the hell am I saying to myself? And then what do you believe about that? Do you believe you can have it? Or do you believe you don't deserve it? Oh, my mama, everybody says I was a bad kid and I've done so much wrong and I don't deserve anything. You're punishing yourself. Get over it. It's stupid. This world will be a lot better place with forgiveness. Let, let all that stuff go. Forgive yourself. What is you want? Let's get busy going after it. We're not going to talk about your problems anymore. That's your old story. Let it go. Let's create the new story of your life. Let's get after it. And surprisingly, what happens is your subconscious and unconscious mind start creating that for you. It's like magical overnight. Watch my video about give up the story. 
And you'll see exactly how that happened with a girl named Terry. She let go of a false belief that she wasn't worthy of love. Once she realized she was worthy of love, she dropped 300 pounds, no operations, her whole life turned around from not being able to walk to dancing in Disney World with Chip and Dale. And, and you know, her everything turned around. She went from being, uh, having a, uh, to having a boyfriend to having to own it, her car, first car, owning her own home. You know, at XYZ age, she wasn't young. You know, it all turned around like midlife. You know, like I never had it, now I do. What changed? Her Beliefs changed about herself. Once that changed, her life changed. 